India's space prowess is well documented. ISRO missions are tracked worldwide. It's become the stuff of legends among space enthusiasts. But what's beyond ISRO? What is the future of India's space missions? Well, it could be private. Today, India's private space industry took a giant leap. It was led by the country's largest space startup, Skyroot. Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurated their new campus in Hyderabad. It is called Skyroot Infinity. The facility has 200,000 square feet of workspace. You can design, build and test rockets there. This campus can build one orbital rocket every month. So it's a pretty big deal in the space sector. Prime Minister Modi inaugurated this facility over video call. He urged young Indians to join the space race. Jab sarkar ne space sector ko open kiya, to desh ke yuwa aur khas kar hamare jenji youth iska bharpur fayda uthane ke liye aage aage. भारत का प्राइवेट स्पेस टैलेंट पूरी दुनिया में अपनी अलग पहचान बना रहा है आज ग्लोबल इन्वेस्टर्स के लिए भारत का स्पेस सेक्टर एक एट्रैक्टिव डेस्टिनेशन बन रहा है स्काई रूट वॉज फाउंडेड बाय टू फॉर्मर इसरो साइंटिस्ट they had a major breakthrough in 2022. That's when they launched India's first private rocket, Vikram S. It took off from ISRO's launch pad in Sri Harikota. It hit a maximum altitude of around 90 kilometers and then splashed into the Bay of Bengal. Now that rocket was suborbital, meaning it did not fly high enough to start orbiting the Earth, suborbital. It flew close to it, close to the Earth, and fell down. But Skyroot's next target is even more daring. That's the Vikram 1 rocket. This one is capable of placing objects in the Earth's orbit. It has a payload capacity of around 300 kilo kilograms. And if things go to plan, it will launch in 2026. But Skyroot is just one part of the full story. India's space economy is undergoing major changes. It is projected to reach $77 billion by 2030. And this economy has three pillars. The first, obviously, is the state-run ISRO. It has an annual budget of $1.6 billion. It has successfully run missions to the moon and Mars. The next frontier is manned missions. ISRO wants to send Indian astronauts to space. Such ambitious missions will capture public imagination. They will also create a new industry. In fact, it's already happening. Today, the private sector contributes, listen to this, 80% of the systems for ISRO missions. Imagine that, 80% coming from the private sector, 8-0. It's a great example of public-private partnership. So that's the first pillar, ISRO. The second pillar, the industry players. These are companies that can manufacture things for ISRO. For example, rocket engines. India's first privately built PSLV engine is likely to fly next year. Now, some quick facts. The PSLV is the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle. It is called the workhorse of ISRO. We launched Chandrayaan-1 using the PSLV. We also launched the Mangalyaan using the PSLV. It's sort of like the bread and butter of launching satellites. In 2022, ISRO opened, up, opened this up to industries. The contract went to a consortium of two firms, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, HAL, and Larsen and & Tubro. After the first launches, ISRO will transfer PSLV technology. 50% of the work will be done by this consortium. And now the final pillar, the third one, space startups. There are more than 300 such startups in the country. Their job is to innovate. Not all of them can build rockets but they can design cutting-edge satellites. They can create systems for ISRO's future missions. Basically start with a support role. Like the Prime Minister said, this must be a multi-pronged push. You need the state, the industry, and the startups. But what's the goal? 
Simply put, the goal is to become a space superpower. Right now, India launches less than 10 rockets a year. The goal is to launch 50 every year by 2029. 50 rockets every year. And if ISRO keeps building and launching, how will they put Indians in space? How will they build a space station? How will they put Indians on the moon? You need to reduce the burden on ISRO. You must let them focus on bigger missions, and that is where the industry and the startups come in. If you prove your worth, there are billions to be made. The global space industry is projected to reach $1.8 trillion by 2035. And even a slice of that will be a bonanza.